anyway, the TV would go on for what? maybe a minute. Not this one, the one before this. Mm -hmm. And we'd go blank. So I called a friend of Pops that he used to have TV repair right across the street where Billy, Banjo Billy is. <coughs> and call him up and it was the, I think it was the Super Bowl or something that day. It was on a Saturday. Right. So he said, I'll be around, he said, but you're going to have to wait. And I told him what was wrong. I said, it comes on the TV, but then it goes blank. I said, I don't know what's wrong with it. He said, okay. He said, I'll be around later. I said, all right. So he comes. I thought he was coming. He sends in his associate. Comes in. He comes in with a flashlight. No kit with any of it. No tools, nothing. So he said, what's wrong? I tell him. Oh, he said, this looks like a big job. So I said to him, how big of a job is it? Mm, about $175. I said, really? I said, well, you know what? It's not worth it to fix a TV for $175. I can probably get a television for $300. Yeah. So he said, well, that's the way you feel about it. He said, but you have to pay me for traveling time. I Did said, what traveling time? I said, what traveling time? He said, well, you owe me $40. I said, really? Uh -huh. I said, well, you're not going to get it. So he said, well, just a minute, he said. And I forgot what the hell his name was. Let me call. Anyway, Frick. the guy that I called originally, right. he's sitting outside in the car. So he comes in. And he says, oh, he said, uh, you have to pay him uh, $40 for traveling time. I said, really? I said, you didn't say anything about traveling time. He said, oh, yeah, but you have to pay him $40. I said, really? I said, well, guess what I have to say to you? Get the fuck out of here. And they walked out. All right. They walked out. That's and that great. And that was the end of that.